So hello everyone and welcome back or to my channel. My name is Erica. So today is the update for my Pan That Face Palette, which is the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. Um, to be honest, I really dislike this at this point. What I'm finding is that I feel like Too Faced's bronzers especially are not made for people like me who have like yellow, a lot of yellow in their skin because it's supposed to be anti-orange, but this thing is the most orange bronzer I've ever tried for like both of the bronzers in here and then another bronzer that I will show you later. But I'll post a picture of what it looked like in the last update. I did have pan in the highlighters, in both highlighters, but this time, this is what my palette looks like now. So I did hit new pan in this shade right here. This is Tropic Like It's Hot. I hate this bronzer. It is so disgustingly orange. Um, Sunny Honey, it took me a while to realize as well, but that's really orange as well. I did use it a couple of times, but now I've just kind of stopped wearing bronzer. Um, I don't like how I look with it on, so I figured I might as well just stop using it. I did uh, expand the pan on the shade Satin Sheets right here, which is the highlighter, and then I used up Starlight right here, and then I repressed a bronzer into here. Yes, see, this is a bronzer, and it's lighter than this. So this is actually my favorite highlighter, and it's from this. This is the Too Faced Natural uh, Lust Bronzer. So originally, um, there was a dual tone bronzer in here so there's a matte one which made up a majority of this and then the peacock which was the lighter satin bronzer i got as much of the bronzer as i could out of here like my favorite part of it um, i wiped it down so you can't really see it but if i find a picture i'll post what it's supposed to look like i did hit pan on this already and i tried the bronzer in this because i was debating just you know, using the bronzer from here and trying to work that out of my collection, but that is also a very orange, disgusting mess. It's so hard to make a universal bronzer, I feel like, because what? I think for um, if you have more pink in your skin, the bronzer needs to be more pink and less yellow so it doesn't look orange in your skin, but if you use that same bronzer or someone who's yellow, I feel like you will look pretty orange, so I really don't like Too Faced bronzers. Um, moving on to their blushes though, their blushes are okay. That's like the only thing in this palette that's okay. So I am actually debating keeping this blush down here, red, I mean sorry, pink sand, um, after this project ends because I don't have a shade like this, at least I don't think I do. Um, and if I don't, and if I do, I think I just will keep anyway. And then I have Pink Wink up here. I'm not as big of a fan of this color because it's so bright pink. Um, and on most days, I usually mix the two, especially when I'm doing like a warmer look like this and you can't really see my blush. But um, yeah, on warmer days like this, I will try to mix the two. Otherwise, normally I just use Pink Sand, but... Um, yeah, I, I don't really like this color that much, and bronzers, I mean bronzers, blushes take forever to go through, so I figured if I need this color, I can just get an eyeshadow or something instead, um, of saving this blush, and it's not the easiest blush to work with, so what I found is that it's pretty pigmented and, like, by my standards. For me, a blush needs to be, like, very unpigmented so that I can work it up slowly. This one's okay though, I don't know why. I think it's just because this one's way brighter than my skin and this one is not <laughs> that bright and it's a more forgiving color. So yeah, I'm mixing, a, I'm mixing, I'm wearing a mix of these two shades right here, the two blushes on my cheeks. I think it's a two to one ratio with two being pink sand and then one being pink wink. And then for my highlighters, I'm just wearing this one. I do not wear this oh, oh that could have been bad. <laughs> um, I do not wear this highlighter on my face because I don't like it on my face. <laughs> and yeah, I don't think I'm going to even attempt to hit paint on Sunny Honey. I just don't like it. Um, 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna destroy it though, but or I don't at least I don't think I'm gonna try to wear this on my face anymore. I may try to contour my legs with it. But to be honest, I haven't really been going outside recently. It's been a combination of the fires um, and also the fact that it's September now. And if you didn't know, summer does not start in California until September. So it's like 100 degrees now. And throughout the entire summer, I can only think of like a few days when it was 100 degrees. So yeah, it's pretty much gonna be 100 for the next few days. I cannot wait for it to drop back down to the temperature it's supposed to be, which is like, you know, less than 80 degrees, but, you know, that's California for you, so, yeah, anyway, um, I was debating getting rid of this palette just because I hate most of it, um, but I don't want to just give up so easily, even though I've been working on this for two months already, it has been two two months already um yeah I feel like it's that blush that's keeping me invested in this and also the fact that I want to see all these disgusting shades gone from my collection um I also feel really bad because I wanted this for a while and a friend bought this for me it was a present so I want to make sure that I get use out of it for her and I know that later on I can't be doing that for everything but for now, I'm gonna just try to use as much of it as possible. And how do you even recycle this? Like, I don't know. It's such a nice, like, bulky, really solid feeling container, too. So I might keep it, but yeah, I just wanna get rid of the contents inside of it. I maybe just save it for repressing other things into it. Anyway, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and listening to me ramble. And I'll see you next time. Bye!